one apple from my grandma's garden. <laughs> it travels with me to da -da -da -da! Paris. Okay, so I am in my room. The last few days have been a very <laughs> interesting journey ride. Um, but I stayed at HSE with my friend Vivian last night. How do you like HSE Paris? <laughs> <laughs> it's very, very naturey, very green, very eco friendly. Uh huh. Yeah, that's the best way to describe it. <laughs> nice. And very friendly. Oh. Super, super nice. And now I'm in Paris on my own for today. And yeah, it's like 5 p.m. My plan is to a very chill, intuitive day today. And then tomorrow I'm gonna see a few friends. On Saturday, I'm planning to have my pop-up stand, something display of the Rakika, which I need to work on planning today as well. Honestly, it's super last minute and you'll see if this is gonna work out. I'm really hoping it's gonna work out, but I don't have a location yet. I don't have anything planned. Basically, life's great. I'm very, very happy to be in Paris. Even though I'm staying at Place de Tallinn, it's not like the most exciting area. And I can show you my room. Like, I, bu I booked this hotel because of the balcony. And the funny thing is the balcony is the size of my actual room. So this hotel is called La Manufacture. Hello, huge mirror. Um, this is the size of the room, right? This is the actual room, the bathroom, and... <laughs> Wow, this is an OG Christine room tour. I used to film them when I was like 13. So, and here you open and you have this beautiful, beautiful balcony with... I like this building. And I like this building. Not, not too sure about this one. But this is the size of my freaking balcony. Like I'm telling you, it's bigger than my actual room. But honestly, my intention was to sit on the balcony here and drink my morning tea, eat some something good and enjoy life and that's what I'm gonna do the next few days so yeah very excited about that let's go in the fourth right now close by the water there and I honestly think that's the perfect location for um, for an apartment like I would love 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 to live here good morning <laughs> actually I've been up for a bit because my neighbors came back home at 5 a.m and woke me up and I had a nightmare that they're ch chasing me around the city <laughs> but other than that I'm doing really well look at this beautiful sound right la 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 good morning beautiful Paris you're so beautiful it was 
because it's raining, but la la la. in New York I played you know like the we're not really strangers friendship edition came with my friends and one of my friends there was a question what is a thing like you don't understand about the other person like something you've been always wondering and a friend asked what is your obsession with going places and like specifically with Paris like why are you so obsessed <laughs> this is why it's just you know you open your freaking window. Of course, of course. I'm aware that it depends on where you live, blah, 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 on different circumstances, but I find it so easy to just enjoy life here. And I think just mundane, simple things feel more magical. And maybe I feel more happier, and therefore I see the world as a more of a magical place, but yeah. It's just so beautiful. And I'm really hungry, I'm noticing. And I'm also tired, because I well, was woken up by my neighbors at 5 a.m. because they came back from a party. by the fact that it doesn't intensely smell like yeast because I mean I get it it's bread but um, I think I talked with my mom about this and she did some research that like good bread is not supposed to smell like yeast intensively so I don't know there was a bakery I went in that looked good it smelled it tasted like yeast I left now I walk, but I don't want it all smell like yeast. I just remember the bakers I used to go when I lived here. Um, like the, the, the two I really, really love. They smelled so good. They smelled like pastries and like sugar and berries. That was really good. So I'm gonna stick to my internal judgment of no yeast smell. Okay. Who remembers my time in Paris, you know, that I started this series of me biting into a baguette. <laughs> and I stopped after like three days, but it's still in my Instagram highlight, if you want to check. I don't know what it is, but I love white bed sheets. They just look so, I don't know, like beautiful clouds. I'm the main character of this And of course, how could I forget my favorite salted butter? La 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 la
excuse me. Pardon, madame, c'est quoi ça, hein? C'est n'importe quoi. Oh là 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 là! Me using all um, <laughs> expressions to express <laughs> in French that I know at once. <laughs> But yeah. This is pure quality matcha, like, action. So, I have like 20 minutes before I have to meet my friend. <laughs> And I completely forget her spot that I am right now. But, now that I got this, <laughs> I'm just gonna walk while I'm drinking. And then get a lime bike, so I'm fast and furious. And <laughs> I can get to it that you mean on time. Or like, not kind of on time. Right, so Vivian is um, unpacking her, <laughs> her, her socks, her, <laughs> her entire thing. Oh my god! <laughs> In a restaurant. I'm, Just so. I'm Um, I think I slept for like three hours. I came back pretty late, I think around five. Guess who came back after six? You're right, my neighbors again. <laughs> ah, people. Yeah, and now I was woken up by the beautiful sun in my face. And let's start the day. <laughs> Tell off the open right there. Inside my wife. Those who have seen your face draw back in fear and the mask you wear. Hey, good morning. I really gotta go to the airport, but I also really want to go and get a call so before I go to the airport. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll be back when I'm... Five minutes. 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 Five minutes